Hello everyone, I'm Wedchuck and welcome to my channel. And today's video is pretty much my first week of Art Fight 2024. So pretty much I'm going to show you the characters I drew for the first week. And I'll also give their creators credit. <laughs> so first off, funny not so funny story. I've been wanting to draw one character since last year. And I was so excited to finally get to draw him. And I did. I did a whole drawing and I submitted it. But when I submitted it, I found out that the person that I wanted to, the character I wanted to draw, was a spectator this year. And that you can't attack spectators. So I couldn't post it. So I just have one picture there. It's, I can't share actually with you guys because, you know, I didn't get to give it to the creator. So maybe next year I can send it over to them if they are participating next year. So yeah, just in case any of you are in our fight, remember you can't attack spectators. So here's the actually first official art fight drawing that I did since I can't use the other one of a character named Mello by Star Darling. I just thought she was a very cute character and I was trying to figure out you know what pose and stuff to draw her with and I read in her bio that she likes fruit so I just saw her sitting down eating some watermelon. It's a relatively simple drawing, not much to the background, just solid colors. But I am really happy with how it turned out. I added a Gaussian, I'm not sure how you pronounce that word, <laughs> blur layer, and turned opacity low so it got a slight blur to it. I don't know, I thought it makes it look more cozy and cute. I used this when I was drawing my surprisingly popular Kiro Day drawing. I'm shocked how much views that video has gotten. <laughs> But thank you to all of you who watched it. Also, I just want to say you might notice that this video is posted on Sunday instead of what well, I usually post them on, which is Saturday. I say usually, but lately I've been struggling to post it <laughs> on that date. But I decided that maybe I might temporarily upload my videos on Sunday during our fight because I tend to have to edit my videos on Saturday and it takes some time and, you know, I usually don't have it finished in that same day sometimes. So I think it would be just best for me to upload on Sunday temporarily so I don't have to rush. And it might be better for me right now. Just to let you all know. Now on to the next one. This next one is actually my first revenge attack of this year. <laughs> so the character I'm drawing, their name is Ava by Amy277. 277. Not exactly sure which one they would prefer me to say, but that's there. I thought Ava was a very cute character. I did draw like two different rough sketch ideas for to see which pose would be better. I wanted it to be full body because Amy277 did a full body of my character, so I wanted to do the same for her. I don't normally do that and usually just draw whatever size I want it to be, but I just felt like that's what I wanted to do. So, also, I read Ava's bio that she's an energetic character who doesn't really sit still. So, I want her to be in a pose with a lot of movement. And originally, I was thinking about drawing her with a sword because also in her bio, it says that she does use a sword. But I personally think me and swords drawing them without reference, they look stiff and they don't look great, in my opinion. So, I didn't really want to do that. But I also found out Ava has firepower, so I decided to do a pose that involves that. And I really love how it turns out. Although I think I made her look a little bit like an arsonist. <laughs> also, I wanted to add pupils, because I personally like adding pupils, but I decided to stay closer to the original design. But I really love like the lighting. It's like my favorite part. I just think, to me, personally, it looks really good, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I like it a lot. Next up is a character named Katie by, I'm going to try to pronounce their name the best I can because I didn't look it up on Google, so I'm going to wing it. Chewy G underscore Sahara 3. I tried my best. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. I just wanted to like say that I actually was going to draw two other pictures before I drew this one, but... Where I am, it is summer, which I think is probably summer everywhere, but I could be incorrect. <laughs> and it got really hot. <laughs> so 
So I just got exhausted and I was tired. I had no energy. So I was just like listening to stuff and scrolling through different characters on art fight that I might want to draw. And I saw this character and I felt really inspired, like after seeing her and a few other characters, to draw. So I wanted to draw her. So this is, I got energy back all of a sudden when that happened. And I started working on her picture. Her design is cute. And I just wanted to do something simple. <laughs> I have like the second draw I did is someone like jumping. <laughs> just what happened. I also had no clue where the light source was coming from. So the shadows might be a bit of them like all over the place. I don't know if anyone will notice unless they're really looking at it or if it's just me. Also, I added the Gaussian blur. And I think that's how you say it. I still don't know how to say that word again because. Like I add to my more lighthearted drawings, I guess it gives to me a more of like a dreamy look. Dream dreamy, I like to say cozy. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Now this is the last one for this week. And it's another revenge attack this time. Of a character that when I use Google Translate, they say his name is Eugene. <laughs> and from what I got from the creator, they said it was Eugene. So good job on Google. We actually did it right. But this character in Eugene is by Gary Loves You. And they drew a picture of my character and I really loved it. I love the color combinations and everything. It just, to me, it looked really pleasing and looked good. I liked it a lot. So thank you, Gary. If you see this, I don't know if you see this or not. I read on Gary's bio, on their little information place on our fight, that they love strange and unusual things. So I wanted to try and give Eugene a creepy vibe a bit. I do not know if I achieved that at all. <laughs> also, before I drew this picture, I had done a concept version of my idea, which pretty much is what I based off this, you know, the official picture off of. I think his outfit is neat with the patterns looking like eyes. And also I thought it would be kind of neat to put the necklace he has in his hand or his eye, give an illusion of like an eye. That was my idea. The execution of it? Don't know. I just thought it would be neat. <laughs> also, this took me a long time. <laughs> There's a lot of details, and most of the details don't have line art, so I did things a little differently, and I kept like my paper schedule underneath, so I would know where to add the details. And I would just use the color it's supposed to be to pretty much fill it in. Which I don't you normally actually do that. I normally just like, you know, do the line art, move my sketch drawing picture, and then fill in the colors. But I kept, you know, it up, like I said, so I could actually draw the details. And I didn't want to, you know, do it with line art because then I would have to raise the line art anyway. And there could be gaps and I didn't want to fill those in. So I just did it this way. But yeah, this was probably like the hardest part of the drawing because there's so much detail. But after I got past that part, it was nice. It was relaxing. I enjoyed the coloring process and everything. It was nice. But yeah, this is actually, this one has taken me the longest out of all the ones you've seen so far. This took me three hours and 60 minutes to do this whole drawing of Eugene. Like all the other past three drawings were in the one hour zone. So this is like the longest one. Probably because of all the little details. But after I got past, you know, drawing every, all the little circles and everything, it was actually very relaxing to color. I was like, oh, this was, it was really nice, actually. Anyway, that's all the art for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like or a comment. And if you want to see more of my art, links to my other social medias are linked below. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye!